Grateful for every one of you joining us, every one of us being together once again on today so that we can be taught, so that we can receive, hallelujah, encouragement, so we can receive instruction, so we can receive direction. Hallelujah. God has been so good. Is there anybody, at least two or three of y'all, that can say God has still been good to you? Oh, hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm in total agreement. So I'm encouraged today to continue on, to continue to stand. I'm encouraged to keep the fight. Hallelujah. To keep my position in faith. And I'm, I'm encouraged by every one of you also. So I want all of you to be encouraged today. I'm, I'm very pleased. Trust me, my wife, Lady J, is very pleased as well for all of us to just be in our positions. And it's something I want to just tell you right quick on tonight. Um, we have a special uh, treat because this is the time of year where it's normally and it really is right now. It's a lot of darkness. And on tonight is going to be the first of several that's going to be taught. That's going to remind us why is it that this darkness even associated with Halloween why is it that we cannot ever go into this season lightly? And, and the thing that's amazing, on yesterday, starting on yesterday, well, not starting on yesterday, but the culmination of the holiest holiday in biblical scripture is called Yom Kippur. And this is the Day of Atonement. And believe it or not, start from yesterday evening till this evening is the honoring of the holiest day according to biblical scriptures. It's the day of atonement. And this is the time where we're supposed to be repenting. And anyone that has ever done anything wrong to you, anybody that said anything wrong, anything that you've done, it's supposed to be a time of repentance introspectively within ourselves. Before God and before man. So with this amount of time that we have left on this evening, just in case you did not know, make sure that you take a moment. If there's anybody, any grudges that you're holding, ask the Lord to give you cleansing to forgive and choose to forgive everyone that has ever hurt you. Everything that you've done to hurt anybody else. This is the time. Hallelujah. So, Father, right now, we just ask that you cleanse our hearts right now, Lord God. Everyone that has ever did anything, said anything to us, anybody that we've done, said anything to them, Father, we choose to release them right now, Lord God. We ask right now, Lord God, for forgiveness of everything that was contrary to your will. And Father, we ask for the grace and the peace right now to make it right, to go to whomever it is and to ask for forgiveness. And not only ask for forgiveness, but it's actually taking it a step further like saying, I love you. And the other person will say, I love you too. And it don't always mean that you just forget about what happened, but you receive the wisdom of God. Everybody say, I walk in wisdom. You receive the wisdom of God and you choose to embrace the understanding. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. So I hope and pray that y'all take this moment and let this be with you even tonight before you go to bed so that we can make sure that we're constantly in right standing because believe it or not, according to the Jewish calendar, on tomorrow is New Year's according to the Hebraic calendar. Like our January 1st, theirs is actually tomorrow. And this is the final day. This is like the last day of the year to be able to say, okay, let's, let's leave this year walking in forgiveness. Let's leave this year in repentance for a clean slate on tomorrow. Hallelujah. So y'all, as we continue to go forward, I'm going to ask Minister G if he would come at this time so that we can continue to add to our, hallelujah, 
our reservoir, our ammunition, everything that we have to continue to cause us to be reminded of why we do what we do in Jesus' name. So y'all, if you could, give God a hand clap of praise. Let's receive this Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As Pastor said, we're just receiving another uh, magazine for our uh, our holy weapon. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. So on tonight, we, we understand that this month, you know, a lot of people celebrate this. I mean, this holiday called Halloween or All Hallows Eve or whatnot. And so we're just going to talk about a piece of it. Uh, something that, you know, a lot of people do during this time. Uh, and the title of this message is going to be Don't Wear the Costume. And it's, you're going to understand why I say that in just a little bit. But I just want to talk to y'all, di dialogue with y'all for a little bit. Does anybody know what the definition of costume is? Hallelujah. 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 Anybody? Is that you, Muamba? Go ahead. I would say a costume is um, something that you put on to make somebody believe something that you're not. Ooh, okay, okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Anybody else? Minister T, go ahead. I believe a custom could also be a type of guard, like almost like a garment that you put, that you put on. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Uh, I believe it comes from. Hallelujah. Uh, and then, uh, in a way, costume could also be something that you could wear to hide. Hallelujah. Something you can wear to hide. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Well, oh, one more. One more. I believe a costume can be used also as a temporary identity. Ooh, temporary identity. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 So my definition, costume, an outfit worn to create the appearance, char characteristic of a particular period, person, place, or thing. One more time. An outfit worn to create the appearance characteristic of a particular period, person, place, or thing. This is why I say don't wear the costume. Right? Because we understand that in this month, you know, as people get prepared to and design their costumes, you know, because when when people first started wearing costumes, they're dressing up as what? What do y'all think, like when costumes first started, what do y'all think they dressed up as? Did they dress up as celebrities or what do you think they dressed up as? Monsters. Monsters, Malule say they're, monsters. Their favorite superhero. Okay, superheroes, okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Hallelujah. Go ahead, Sam. Go ahead. Athletes. Athletes, okay. Anybody else? I would say, um. Oof. What's the question? Oh, <laughs> Brother Claus says skeletons. Skeletons, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So the original purpose of these costumes was since. At, at this time, they believed that the veil, if you want to say, was weakened between the, the spirit realm where the dead lie and our realm, the physical realm. And so they were impersonating these things called Asi. And they were the fairies or the monsters, the ghouls, the whatever you want to call them. 
they were impersonating them, they wore those costumes so that way they wouldn't be tormented and they would protect themselves from it. So that's why they started wearing these costumes and also they received offerings. So there was a lot of people that would, you know, give offerings while being in their costumes and they would walk around the streets in their costumes thinking and believing that they were there were spirits all around them that looked exactly what those costumes portrayed, right? So there's this saying, right? And it says to fake it till you make it, right? So that's what they did. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. baked it until they made it, right? Yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. But did you really make it? Mm. Oh, come here. Because you've been faking it for so long, you've deceived yourself mm. in the thinking that when you receive something, that, oh, I, I faked it until I made it, oh, now I made it, right? You know? And so now you've been walking around in deception so much that you believe it. You know, uh, they used to always talk about how, man, you lost so much that you even believed the lie that you told. Yourself. You know, so you deceived yourself, right? So you not only did you deceive yourself, but guess who else deceived you? Anybody yeah. guess? Who? Yeah. The Hallelujah. So you was faking it until you made it, and now you believe that you made it, but guess what? The enemy that deceived you. You think you made it, but you really didn't. And there's a reason for that. Amen. Muamba, can I get you to go to James chapter 1, verse 17? And Minister T, can I get you to go to go to First John chapter two, verse 10. And Malule, can I get you to go to second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Hallelujah. Minister Muamba, I got you to read the first one, right? Yes, sir. James 1 and 17. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read it if you got Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. James 1 and 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Hallelujah. 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 Now that word light is going to come up again, and I want y'all to remember that word light because it's going to be very important. Remember... Don't wear the costume, right? So, and this uh, scripture is talking about every good gift and every perfect gift comes from the light, comes from God. Amen? So, that's one thing we got to know. Any good gift, any perfect gift comes from light, comes from God, right? And there is no shadow cast by his turning as in an eclipse. There's no... No shadow on that gift because that light cannot be covered. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want you to understand that just because we can wear costumes, we're not the only ones that can wear a costume. We're not the only ones that can impersonate someone or something. Right. Like if we find ourselves wearing a costume, Let's say that we have someone, you know what, I ain't even going to ruin it. Minister T, go ahead and read 1 John 2 and 10. 1 John 2 and 10. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And there is none occasion of stumbling in him. Hallelujah. Mine says, whoever loves his brother, believer, abides, lives in the light, and in it, or in him, there is no occasion for stumbling or cause for error 
or sin. Hallelujah. So another thing that we find in the light is love. So we have gifts in light. We have love in light. There's a lot of things that we have in the light, right? And so isn't that very appeasing? Like, don't we like to see that in the light? Like, that draws us to the light, right? Right. Hallelujah. 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 Remember what I told you. We're not the only ones that can put on the costume. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. Malule. Get that 2 Corinthians 11 14. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 11 14. That should not surprise you. Even Satan can change himself to look like an angel who belongs to the light. Hallelujah. Uh oh. <laughs> so, guess what? The enemy is going to put on that costume as well. But he's not putting on the costume to look like himself. Wow. <clears throat> he's putting on the costume to look like the one that we look up to, right? Wow. Yeah. So we find gifts in the light. We find love in the light. So what will the enemy dress up to be? The light. You know, and it causes us to be drawn to it. It says... Satan capitalizes on our love of the light in order to deceive us. Remember, we were, we've were we been told to fake it until we make it. Who do you think told us that? Was that God who came? Was that anything that Jesus taught? Did Jesus teach us to be fake and phony until we actually make it to where we want to be? Or did, did Jesus tell us to be honorable, to be truthful, trustworthy, to be righteous? Remember, one of the garments that God gives us is righteousness, to be in right standings with him. Another garment that he gives us is salvation, to be set apart, to be separated. So if everybody is faking it until they make it, what do you think God is telling us to do? Not to fake it. We have to be set apart. We got to be different. Hallelujah. Look at this. The enemy wants us to think that he is good, truthful, loving, and powerful. All the things that God is. There's another saying that uh, imitation is the highest form of flattery, right? But then, do you think the enemy is imitating God because, you know, he like... You know, God cold, like I want to be like God. He's trying to imitate God. He's putting on the costume to be like God because he understands that if I'm going to go to hell, I ain't going to be the only one. Like crabs in the bucket. When you see one trying to get out, now nah, let me put on that costume because uh, Malule trying to, he's trying to get out. So let me put on that costume yeah. What are you struggling with? Yeah, let me put that costume on. Oh, yeah. Remember, the enemy has been studying us. Mm. So he knows what costume that he needs to put on wow. to get us back into doing the things that we used to do. Back in the day, if you seen somebody wearing a witch costume, they didn't look good. They wore the mask where the witch looks real ugly. But now, you got these tight costumes where you got women just masquerading around as witches with their brooms and the little hat. And it appeases our lustful appetite, right? Yeah, yeah. The enemy is like, oh, I already know Gio. He struggles with this, so you know what? Let me put that costume on. And... You don't see the devil looking all ugly and deformed and weird anymore. You have people wearing these devil costumes and it looks good. You know, it looks like something that we're attracted to. Mm -hmm. So understand that you're not the only one that can put on the costume. If the enemy can put on the costume, chances are it's 100% that 
his minions can do the very same thing. Those that are following him, those that are worshiping him, those that are doing the things that he does, you know, they can wear costumes as well. These costumes are things that, you know, we may like it. And we like, man, let me, let me, let me go see what that's talking about real quick. You know, see, the enemy portrays himself as he, he's not going to portray himself as dark, devilish, you know, with horns and all this stuff. He's going to do the complete opposite because, you know, not a lot of people are attracted to that thing that's not appealing. Right. So he wants to look like what God looks like. He wants to impersonate God. He wants to put on that costume of light. And we find ourselves like, oh, man, remember, uh, we had a teaching about the counterfeit. Yeah. What you think a costume is? If you have people that are dressing up as celebrities and you put the real celebrity right there beside them, which one's the real one? Which one's the counterfeit? Right? There are people, there are people that are going out to get surgery to look like someone else. You think the enemy can't do that? You think the enemy can't transform himself and put on a costume to look like somebody else or look like something else or to be so appeasing to the mind, the eyes, the lustful desires? There's a woman that literally spent over $10,000 to look like Kim Kardashian. Wow. And everybody thinks Kim Kardashian looks just so good, this, that, and the third, right? So who you think is the, the, the ultimate, like the greatest? I mean, because if you put Kim Kardashian and this woman beside each other, you can tell which one is real and which one is fake. But do you think the enemy isn't better than that? Yeah. Wow. The enemy, I mean, he is good. I but he he can he pales in comparison to the Lord. You know, because when we when we receive the gift of God, remember what it said. It's good and perfect. Anything that the enemy does is not perfect, nor is it good. It'll appear to be good, but then at the end of the day, it's going to cause you problems, right? So, look, the enemy is going to appear to you as a creature of light to draw us to him and his lies, right? So, look at this scripture. Let me get Brother Claude. Let me get you to go to Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the reason why we're talking about the costume, because the costume isn't something that, you know, people do that, you know, is for evil. Like, people don't just dress up as uh, ghouls and witches and all of this, warlocks and stuff. Guess what else they dress up as? Nuns, priests, prophets, Christ himself. Oh, yeah. Now, as believers, can we wear the costume of righteousness? As believers, can we wear a costume of salvation? What y'all think? Can we wear those costumes? Yes, yes I believe. I we believe can wear, we can. hold on, we can wear a costume of righteousness? <laughs> A costume? A costume? Yeah. Can we wear a costume of righteousness? No, sir. No, 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 no. Remember, a costume is created to appear. Oh, oh that's what it is. It's to make it look like oh. we're walking yeah. in righteousness. Mm. It's to make it look like we're walking in truth. Mm. It's to make it look like we're walking in salvation. Claude, hit that scripture for me. Matthew 7 and 15. Matthew chapter 7 verse 15. 
And when the Lord says, be aware of false prophets mm. who, come, who come to you in sheep clothing. But inwardly, they are revenous, revenous wolves. Hallelujah. Oh, but this is powerful. See, this we can't, powerful. as believers, we can't put on the costume. Yes, this sir, is what yes, I sir. say. Don't, don't wear the costume. Because it's not just the costume where we're trying to look like ghosts and ghouls. Some people are wearing costumes of righteousness. Right? Oh. Just like the scripture says, beware of false prophets who come to you dressed as sheep, but inside they are devouring wolves. They're trying to eat you, devour you. That's the enemy. He's telling you, you know what? Walking with God is really hard, bro. Like, it's okay to wear this costume. It's okay. Ain't nobody that serious. Yeah. Like, I mean, oh, yeah. be for real, man. Like, that was back in Peter and Paul in them days, like, where they were really devout, where they were really about it. You know, nowadays we got technology, you know, we have social media, and you know you want to look good in front of social media. You know you want to appear like you good in front of social media. Mm. Go ahead and put on that costume, man. Oh, you want to quote some scripture but not live by it? Mm -hmm. Put that, put that costume on. Go on your social media. Start, start putting all them scriptures on your social media. But you know, with your close friends, you can also put those wow. those other things that you like to do, wow. and just yeah. let your close friends see what you do, right? Yeah. See, the costume, we, we always think that a costume is just for, you know, oh, for Halloween and All Hallows Eve. We think that that's just the only time people wear costumes. People can, a person can wear a costume their entire life yeah. until they receive the truth, the word of God, right? Until they receive that revelation where they understand Man, I've been walking around with a costume on. I've been walking around with the appearance of righteousness. I've been walking around with the appearance of God's grace. I mean, because the enemy is going to whisper in your ear. He's going to tell you, oh, yeah, put this on. You know, because God gives us the garments, right? Only God gives us the garment of salvation, the robe of righteousness. Only God gives us that. Hallelujah. Only God gives us the good and perfect gifts, right? right? So when the enemy comes to us, we've been faking it till we make it, right? I've been faking like I'm a believer. I've been faking like I'm a Christian. Oh, the enemy's trying to give me this, this uh, costume of righteousness? I'm putting it on. I made it. Yeah. I'm righteous. I'm walking in right standing with God. But guess what the scripture says? The sinners, he don't even hear their prayers. My Lord. Those that are just living in sin, God say, I don't even hear your prayers. But we don't understand that because we've been faking it till we make it. Wow. We didn't put on these different costumes. Mm -hmm. There are some times that we put on multiple costumes. One day I want to walk in righteousness, but then the next day, you know what? I think today I want to walk in the truth. You know what? Let me put that on. Putting the costume of truth on. Does that mean I'm a walking truth? No. Why not, though? That's a costume. That's a costume. It's a costume. <laughs> but on my costume, what am I missing? What does the armor say? The belt of what? Truth. The belt of truth. Hallelujah. So when I look down on my costume and I don't even have a belt on, mm. oh, boy. I'm looking at my yeah, costume yeah. and my belt isn't on. And I'm like, but but see, when we faking it until we make it, we don't even understand that the scripture says that we put on this belt of truth. Mm. Right? Hallelujah. Because I've been faking it my, this whole time. Wow. Because I've been looking at 
the costume that the enemy is wearing and the costume that the enemy is wearing looks good all the time. Mm. See, when I go to God, there's sometimes, sometimes God says, all right, you're going to have to go through some suffering right now. I don't like the way that look. Oh, yeah. I'd rather wear the costume. Oh, yeah. I'd rather go to him because he looks good all the time. Yeah. He got what I want all the time. Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going this way because that suffering don't look good right now. Yeah. I don't want to suffer right now. And all suffer too. <laughs> and you mean to tell me I got to suffer for a long time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> costume me. Give me the costume. Because, yeah, I don't, don't want to, I don't want to suffer. I don't want to have to go through bad times. I don't want to have to go through that. So that's why when you have these believers that are wearing these costumes, sometimes, guess what? Somebody said that, you know, uh, dress up as superheroes. We have a superhero that has a shield now. Yeah. His name's Captain America. <laughs> So let me get that costume with the shield. Because he got the belt. Uh -huh. In his little top part, there's like a, a, a armor plate in it. Sometimes he got the little helmet on. <laughs> what that sound like to you? That sound like the armor, right? Yeah. That's why I got the shield. <laughs> so, so, so we see Cap. You know, using that shield, throwing that shield, that shield coming back to him, all of that. So what do you think some of these believers are doing? Mm. Oh my God, this is powerful. I, I, I got that shield of faith. I got that shield of faith, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, you walking around with this big old Captain America shield, thinking that's the shield of faith. And then when those fiery darts of the enemy come... The one that gave you the costume, mm. the one that gave you the costume, the one attacking you. Mm. When you when you decide, you know what? Let me put this fake shield down. I think I need to go get the real thing. Oh no, nah, you done messed up. Let me throw them darts at you real quick. Let me get let me get you to pick up the fake shield. Because once you pick up the fake shield, I already know my arrows are gonna be effective. Oh, my God, my God! I already know my arrows are gonna pierce that fake shield. Wow. So we pick up this fake shield it's just a <laughs> and, and the arrow pierce and you like, hold on, wait a minute. Why am I suffering? Didn't I go to the one that looks good all the time? Hold on. You mean to tell me that Malula, you had to go through some suffering, but dang, the same situation I'm in, you didn't overcame it. It didn't even affect you. Wow, that real shield. Wow. <laughs> Why your shield don't look like mine? <laughs> right? There's some believers that are walking around that are wearing these costumes, you know, and thinking that they're being protected. Why is my mindset always messed up? I got a helmet on. Is it not the helmet of salvation? What? Why am I still being tormented in my mindset? Why don't I have the hallelujah, the wisdom of the Lord on my mouth? Oh my God. Why don't I have the understanding of the Lord in my heart? Oh. I thought this was it. Why is he shooting me with arrows? Why is he attacking me? Didn't, didn't, ain't he the light? Why is he attacking me? We forget that the scripture says that the true light, we ain't talking about the, the fake light, the one where, yeah. where he had to go put on the costume. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But, but the real light, Every good and perfect gift comes from the real light, 
Love comes from the real light. Yes, sir. Real love. Man, I'm struggling. He didn't gave me all these provisions that I thought were good, that I thought was real. Now I'm struggling. And what's amazing is that when we struggle, yes, we have struggling with God, that God sends us. He's going to give us some, some struggles, but it's to build us up, to make us stronger, that way that we don't lose our peace. But I've been wearing this costume from the one that's over there wearing the costume, and now when I'm struggling, not only do I have to go through this struggle, I still got to go through the struggle from the real life. Wow. So now I'm struggling for no reason because I decided to wear a costume that I shouldn't have put on. Not only that, I'm wearing the costume of, of righteousness, of salvation. Why am I not walking in it? Why am I not hearing from God? Why do I keep having to go through these things? Why do I keep having to go back into lust? I thought whenever I put on this costume of righteousness that I was going to be in right standing with God all the time. I ain't got to worry about no struggles no more. I ain't got to worry about, you know, my mindset being attacked because I got the Captain America. Know what? I got on Iron Man's face mask. <laughs> Iron Man. I'm, I'm dressed like Iron Man now. Yes, sir. But I got and, and and with Iron Man, oh man, he got the nanotechnology now. So a part of his suit becomes his shield. So I'm I'm walking. Oh my! Every part of me is covered. Every part of me is covered. Does it mean that it's you? Does it mean that because because remember the scripture says that God put on this breastplate put on this breastplate you know he the same armor that we wear is the same armor that God created and wore Himself <clears throat> so if I put on this costume and I'm wondering why it's ineffective because God didn't put that on. God doesn't need a costume. God is the creator of all. Why am I wearing a costume, right? Why am I wearing a costume? So when we talk about costumes, we ourselves have to be careful with what we're wearing and putting on as well. Because remember, a few weeks ago, I taught about who is clothing you. Right? So if I'm being clothed by God, God isn't going to be like, here, Gio, get this costume. That's the enemy. The enemy going to be like, all right, Gio, you want to, uh, you, you want to look like you, uh, resisting lust? Huh? You want to look like that? <laughs> On your social media, only post about scripture, okay? But then we, we know what you like to look at. Right? The enemy tells you to do certain things to make it look a certain way. That's what a costume is. It's to, I'll read it again, an outfit worn to create the appearance, characteristics of a particular period, person, place, or thing. See, the enemy wants us to look a certain way, but at the end of the day, that's not who we are because God knows the heart. He's judging the heart. So when I'm wearing this costume and I'm parading around as if I'm walking around as a prophet, you know, look at this. But inside they are devouring wolves. They're false. This false righteousness that I'm walking in is causing me to try to be like, I'm better than somebody else that's walking in sin. Like, oh, man, why you still do that? Oh, my gosh. Ew. Right? <laughs> we, 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 we begin to get this false identity like, oh, yeah, I don't do that. Now I'm self-righteous. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting on another costume. And I'm, at the same time, I'm still doing the same thing I've been doing behind closed doors. And then you also have those that are doing in front of everybody. Because what they love to say, only God can judge me. Mm-hmm. Let me put on that costume. Only God can judge me. God knows my struggles. God didn't judge people. God was walk- Jesus was walking around with sinners. Let who let he without sin cast the first stone, right? <laughs> you hear it all the time with those that are walking around with the costume of, yeah, I'm a believer. Oh man. I yeah, I, I believe in God. I, I believe in Jesus. And yet we're walking around with costumes on in the natural and in the spiritual. So that's what I have for y'all on tonight. I pray that y'all receive that. I pray that that is really. Lord, man, I, I, I pray that. Hallelujah. 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 I pray that that reach each and every one of y'all. It was something that God placed on my heart because I was thinking about, you know, what it is that we need to understand. And that's, that costume is something that we really have to understand because it's not only, you know, a costume of wickedness of like a costume where we're like, you know what, I'm going to be a demon today or this, that, and the third. But it can also be a costume that believers are putting on thinking that they're walking in righteousness when they're really not, when they're walking in self-righteousness. Or it could be somebody thinking that they're walking in truth, but never even put on the belt of truth. Pastor always tells us that if we don't handle sin, where is it when we walk out the door? Right there. It's right at the door. The enemy is right at the door. And guess what we're looking like? Light. He's not looking like himself. He's looking like light. Oh, man, God is blessing me today. He just gave me all this money. Now I got a girlfriend. Man. But yet, I still haven't gotten over lust. And now I find myself in lust with this woman. The guy was like, nah, she's an assignment. Nah, this, this is to help you to abstain. This is to help you to be patient with, to be patient and wait. She, that's not yours. I didn't give that to you. I didn't, I didn't give her to you. Man, but God, you said, I, I prayed to you yesterday and you was like, you're going to give it to me today. That wasn't me. You've been duped. Right? When when the enemy takes that costume off, you like, ugh. Ooh. Like, ah. Let me get away from that. So, anyways, if there's any questions, comments, or concerns, Hallelujah. the floor is open to y'all. Amen? Hallelujah. So if there's anybody that has something that they receive, want to talk about, anything. Hallelujah. the way you are, uh, you, those analogies, you use you, you, you too much, too many, but uh, I, I love how you use the, um, that superhero analogy, man, where first you, you started off with, uh, who was it, Captain America, and then you talked about Iron Man, yeah. and every part of Iron Man guy, he got the helmet, uh-huh. He got the uh, the shield on the like, breastplate, uh-huh. the, the, the belt, but uh-huh. all that, man, when you said that it's all counterfeit, all that, just like a, like a, like a, a, a mask in disguise mm. of the person you're not. Right. You know, that's powerful to me, bro, that's powerful. Because he's not Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah. And all those parts. It's biblical. Got the helmet, the helmet of salvation, breastplate, but all of that is not even. It's not effective because it's that's not what you are. That's what you, pers- you know, 
Imitation. That's what you're trying to show yourself. Yeah. Yeah, that's powerful to me, man. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead. Is that you, John? Nah, that's, that's oh, me. Bosco, Bosco! Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really love the part where uh, when you start speaking about we're not the only imitators. Um, uh, that's really powerful because if we really think about it, all we really trying to do is just be like Christ, right? Right. So um, if we are trying to be like Christ, that means that uh, if you are not trying to be like Christ, that means you are trying to be like somebody else. And that somebody else is only really two fathers, you know, as many people want to make it complicated, it's really just two fathers, you know. And so uh, when you start when you started talking about that, I started thinking about how you went on and say that um, judging someone, basically judging someone for the lack of knowledge. It's not that they, don't, that they really, really like knowledge because they know what they are doing. They know they, what, what they're protecting in. It's just that a matter of us understanding that, um, uh, understanding what it means when he talks about costumes. Mm-hmm. You know, they know what they're putting on. You know, yeah. when Iron Man uh, put on that, that breast prayer, he, he know what he's putting on, you know. And so, um, uh, it's really all about like what I took away is really about encouragement. Uh, really be aware about um, the customs that people really wear because it's not just uh, customs that we wear, you know, uh, physically. There are also people who really spiritually can fake it and think and really say they deep down in it. Yeah. You know? And and we really got to be mindful of those kind of people because they can come with a lot of deception. You know, because it's, it's slow by slow. You know, it's saying it's some things like, let's just go this one time. We won't do it next time. You know, right. just, you know, uh, you know, all of that is just, you know, uh, woos, man. Uh, and so, like, I really, I really appreciate it when you say that we're not the only imitators. We, um, so that's really powerful. That was really powerful. Hallelujah. Yes, powerful. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for me, it's like uh, when you was talking about, I'm actually kind of like touch on what Basco said a little bit, how like people, so I kind of looked at it in like friendship wise or like our, you know, right. uh, you know, like relationship and everything like that, how like, you know, we could all claim we're Christian, you feel me? We're all going to, you know, going to church and anything like that, but it's just a picture. Or it's just an image, a custom that a lot of us wear. So it's like, it's kind of also scary in a way. It's like, bro, I could be with this person, you know, and they could be saying they this, but they're really not. So it's like, that's one thing I took away from it. It's like to really seek God. And I'm pretty sure when we truly seek God, you'll be able to reveal that stuff to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Claude. Yeah, I like what you uh, what you said when you're speaking about the truth. And for me, like what I, I was just thinking right now, how uh, God said uh, He would put like His truth in His people, like so people don't have trust for normal like His truth. He put the, His word in them. And then what I, I thought of uh, when you're speaking, you can have the truth, but then if you don't have the belt to hold the truth down, like the truth will fall off, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I was thinking of like, especially like in the like in the army, so people ride more bikes. When you wear the helmet, there's a string that there is a type. So like when the wind blows, the it helmet don't fall off. Yeah, you could have the truth, but from momentarily, you know, like you have the truth because right now you're standing. But once you get out of this door, there's gonna be wind that's gonna come to test out like, yeah. okay, is this truth strong enough to hold to be held down, or like is it fake truth right here? Yeah. And, like, for me, I like that, I like that, I like that. You can have the truth, but if you don't have the belt to, to tighten that truth, then like it will slowly fall off. And that's why, like, some, I will, I didn't go say we, we get people, but that's why, like, why we get people, they, for momentarily, they tell the truth, but then at the times, you find them putting on costumes because the truth wasn't tight enough to prevent them from bringing that, that costume. That's yeah. powerful. That's powerful. Yeah, that, that belt helps secure, helps yeah. to keep it secure. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Anybody else? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. I thank you all for coming on. Thank each and every one of y'all for, you know, joining.